queen sacrifices. Everybody loves to sacrifice their queen, and there's nothing more satisfying than the warm feeling you get when you sacrifice your most powerful piece to force mate. channel so today we're going to share with you our lesson in checkmate titled queen sacrifices everybody loves to sacrifice their queen and there's nothing more satisfying than the warm feeling you get when you sacrifice your most powerful piece to force mate in order to solve these tactics we're going to use these three tips first Look for possible check in the position. Second, look for possible capture. And third, look for undependent piece or attack and checks. We're also going to use the three ways on how to deal with check. First, capture the attacking piece. Second, move a piece between the king and the attacking piece. And third, move the king into a safe square. So we have here a position. In this position, it is black to move. So we're going to street. So we're going to use the street tips. First, look for possible check in the position. So, in order to force checkmate, we're gonna need to sacrifice a queen. Check. So in this position. The black queen is attacking the white king. So I'm going to use the three ways on how to deal with check. First, capture the attacking piece. Check. So in this position, the black knight on e4 and the black bishop on g7 is attacking the white king. So I'm going to use the three ways on how to deal with check. First, capture the attacking piece. In this position, I can capture the black knight by taking it with the white rope on E2. But, the king is also being attacked by the black bishop on G7. So, I'm going to use the second way on how to deal with it. Move a piece between the king and the attacking piece. So in this position, I can block the black bishop by the by the white knight on e e5. But the black knight is also attacking the white king. So I'm going to use the third way on how to deal with check. Move the king into a safe square. In this position, I cannot move the white king on c2 and d3 because it is guarded by the black knight. So I'm going to use I cannot also move my move the white king on d2 because it is also guarded by the knight on e4. So in this position, the white king has nowhere to go. 
it is called checkmate. And that's an example of queen sacrifices. So we have here another position. In this position, it is white move. In order, in order to solve these tactics, we're going to use these three tips. First, look for possible check in the position. Second, look for possible capture. And third, look for a dependent piece or attack and checks. So in this position, I can sacrifice the white queen on, on F7 to force me. Check. So in this position, the white queen is attacking my king. So, I'm going to use the three ways on how to deal with check. First, capture the attacking piece. Check. So, in this position, the white rook is attacking my king. So, I'm going to use the three ways on how to deal with check. First, capture the attacking piece. But in this position, I can't capture the white rope because it was all it was guarded by the white rope on E8. So I'm going to use the second way on how to deal with check. Move a piece between the attacking piece and the king. But in this position, I have no piece that can block the attacking piece. So I'm going to use the third way on how to deal with check. Move the king into a safe square. Check! So, in this position, the white rook is attacking my king. So, I'm going to use the three ways on how to deal with check. First, capture the attacking piece. But in this position, I have no piece that can capture the attacking piece. So I'm going to use the second way on how to deal with check. Move a piece between the attacking piece and the king. But in this position, I have no piece that can block the attacking piece. So I'm going to use the third way on how to deal with check. Move the king into a safe square. But in this position, I cannot move my king on f Five or on H5 because it was guarded by the pawn on G4. So the, in this position, the king has tower to go, so it's check. So we have here another position. In this position, it is black to me. So in order to solve this tactic, we're going to use these three tips. First, look for possible check in the position. Second, look for possible capture. And third, look for undependent piece or attack and threats. So, in this position, I can check the white king with my knight on f1. Check. So, in this position, the white king is being attacked by the black knight. So, I'm going to use the three ways on how to deal with check. First, capture the attacking piece. In this position, I can I I cannot capture the black knight by the white queen because if I capture the black knight, it will be captured by the black rook. And the white queen is more valuable than the black rook. So I'm going to use the second way on how to deal with check. Move a piece between the king and the attacking piece. 
But in this position, it it is a it is a black knight, so I cannot block the way. So I'm going to use the third way on how to deal with check. Move the king into a safe square. Check. So in this position, the black queen is attacking the white king. So I'm going to use again the three ways on how to deal with check. First, Capture the attacking piece. Check. So in this position, the black crop is attacking the white king. So I'm going to use again the three ways on how to deal with check. First, Capture the attacking piece. But in this position, I cannot capture the black rook because it is guarded by the black knight on F1. So I'm going to use the second way on how to deal with check. Move a piece between the king and the attacking piece. But in this position... There's no piece that can block the way. So I'm going to use the third way on how to deal with check. Move the king into a safe square. This position, I cannot move the white king on g1 because it is guarded by the black bishop on c5. So, in this position, the king has nowhere to go. It is called checkmate. And that's an example of being sacrifices. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Thank you for watching. Love, love, love.